scarves and frills, flats and heels, jeans and sweats, and any other design you can think of. The whole Kenyan fashion industry seemed to converge at the Thicker Road Mall on Saturday night for the sixth edition of the JW Fashion Show. <laughs> The brainchild of Kenya's fashion entrepreneur Jeffrey Wilson, the show seeks to connect Africa and the world through fabric design. The JW Fashion Show gives young upcoming designers an opportunity to showcase their designs in front of an audience that can purchase the products and judges that not only give them a score but also point out on areas that they can improve on. Confidence is just on point. Uh, Detail-oriented uh, designs came from you. From a design you can tell are conservative but sophisticated. It's my kind of stuff. That's the kind of woman I look at and I'll be You couldn't have guessed this for upcoming designers based on the work that they displayed on stage. The colors, the beautiful finishes and accessories, and the overall African feel was amazing to watch. Actually, I saw so many amazing things like I've never seen before. The other thing that could have taken focus away from the stage was the crowd. Kenyans know how to dress for a red carpet. The show's theme was made in Kenya by Kenyans with many people sporting Ankara. Kitenge is basically everything. It defines us as Africans. The fact that it's made in Kenya by Kenyans, I'm here to support it. we have to embrace our own culture like you can see I'm wearing you know a completely different fabric but I decided to blend it a little bit with you know our African you know, Ankara thing. It doesn't have to be Ankara but how we cut it. We don't have someone who's giving us something you can wear that is not either casual or Ankara. Something can wear to the club. Most of us believe it has to have a touch of Ankara really but I think it's more on what inspired it and, and how does it reflect like Africa or Kenya. the Kenyan or African style, most people describe it as Ankara or as locally known Vitenge. Granted, Ankaras are a popular African design and fabric, but is this the only design that can be exported from Africa? We have so much to give out as African, not only the Vitengas, we have also like our own traditional cloth. For example, the skin colors, we can even use them in fabrics. The 
I've been abroad before and I've seen how people react when they see you wearing Maasai stuff, which is really, really cool. Well, Ankara or not, most people did wear designs made by Kenyans and the next time you want fashion tips or maybe just to network and interact with the fashion industry, this is the place for you.